Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HD. This is video 38 and also the last video in the series. So if you made it all the way to the end here, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you, you are now comfortable with Zebra HD and you can make some pretty cool stuff. So now that we've covered the sound stuff, we kind of do need to cover the visual aspect because sometimes if we have a different theme or a different skin or something like that, it can be a little bit more inspiring to work in. So for the whole course, I've kept it as the default skin because that's what most people are going to be working with. But if you feel like you want to go on a little bit of an adventure and go for some different skins or themes, then you can totally do this. So I have quite a few installed. I have put a link in the video description to where I got them from the Yuhi website. And basically to install them, once you download the file, you can right click this Yuhi logo, go to the docs folder, go back one folder, go into support and then themes. And then you can drop all of the themes that you get into there. And once you do that, you can just right click on the top bar and change through a lot of different stuff here. So like I said, this is the default one. Let's kind of go through some other ones here. This is Dark Star. This one actually looks pretty cool, right? Everything's kind of just red, white, and, uh, and black here and kind of gray a little bit as well. And then we have Groove Color, which is kind of cool as well. It gives you like a little interesting, I guess, more analog vibe to it if you like to. And then we have Groove Dark, which is kind of the similar, but it's just a little bit more monotone. And then we have Hollowed, which is kind of looks like a pumpkin to me, but that's cool. Maybe you like that. And then we have Midnight, which is nice. I do like that black on blue kind of look here, which is really cool especially if it's nighttime or you don't want to strain your eyes or something like that. Then we have the Newman or Neumann Pro Demo. So this one is from Plugmon, and I did check out the demo here, and it looks really, really cool. Kind of thinking about getting it myself, but uh, yeah, it kind of redesigns the whole aspect of Zebra. So definitely check out Plugmon stuff. He makes some really, really cool things. Now we have Old School, which is, I guess, kind of, I guess, looking old school, right? It's really interesting looking here. And then we have Out of Phase, which is also kind of like a pumpkin with a little, a little bit of blue in there as well. Then we have Resistance White Dust, which is nice. This kind of reminds me of almost an Ableton kind of skin here. So if you're an Ableton user, maybe this might be more your speed. It kind of might fit in a little bit with your DAW. And then we have Sea Breeze, which is kind of cool. I did use this one for a little while, but after a bit, it kind of got a little harsh on my eyes. I'm not really sure why that was. But yeah, anyway, we have Sunshine, which is kind of cool. It gives, gives you almost a little bit of a retro kind of vibe, right? You know, those kind of like those cars that have just been sitting in the sun for so long or your walls if you're a smoker, right? And then uh, super fast, which is, I, I don't know why it's super fast, but I, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Not my first take I would use, but hey, you might like this one. Uh, Verdant, whatever that means, which is kind of green, which is kind of alien looking. These knobs are wild because like you don't really know where the position is, right? There's not really a dial. It's just like a circle that you kind of envision, which, you know, it's kind of cool. And then we have Vice here, which is kind of cool as well. If, you, if you're into hot pink, something like that, it might be for you. And then we go to Wombat Flat Blue, which is basically my favorite one I like. I generally stay in this skin for the most part. I was kind of, I've been switching back to the default for the videos, but this is the main one that I kind of have grown to use. It's very easy on the eyes, and I kind of always like that dark gray, kind of blackish blue color like that. Kind of fits a little bit into the my FL theme a little bit as well, right? With the blue and all that. So moving on from here, we have Wombat Flat Colorized, which is kind of the same thing, but there's just more colors, right? The delays are green. You have different colors and stuff like that, right? If we maybe select, I don't know, the distortion, these are all going to be green and white and all that. So it's kind of like the one we were just in, but a little bit more colorful, but I kind of just like the blue stuff overall. It really depends on what you like. And then the original, if you want to stay with the original, the OG skin, you can do that as well. So I thought I'd kind of make a quick video about themes and skins because it can really inspire you and kind of make the scent a little bit more fresh and more fun to use, I guess. And that might translate to making better sounds or better songs or something like that if you feel a little bit better with that, though. So, yeah, that's the end of the course. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was long. We're at 38 videos. I didn't expect it to be that long. But, hey, there's a lot to cover in this synthesizer. So if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I'd love to talk about it. And hopefully you now know this synth pretty well now. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next course, whatever it's going to be. It might be Hive. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.